Hey everybody, this is a video that I made to show a new shape that I made and also to try and see how much interest there would be in a tutorial for this because it's only kind of a new shape. Um, it's really more of a new form of an old shape. You'll see what I mean in a second. Um, anyways, this is the new shape that I've made and it looks exactly like a diagonal cube and it is a diagonal cube. Um, the difference is in the way the uh, magnets are uh, aligned inside the cube. As compared to a normal diagonal cube, this is this one, um, the uh, way that this works is that there's definitely what you'd call a kind of a top and bottom to this cube. That's why I put these blue magnets here so I could keep track of where the top is in the video. Um, there is an axis that runs down the length of the cube this way and the polarities of the magnets go in rings around that axis, which is why when you try to attach things to corners that are not the top and bottom corners, that it can become kind of difficult because though these corners look like you could attach, you know, like a ring of six magnets on there, the way these magnets are aligned is that they're all going this way rather than around in a circle because the circle is going that way. So that means that attaching things onto these corners becomes very difficult and um, it makes this shape kind of difficult, not impossible, but annoying definitely to uh, work into other shapes. And then the other thing is that if you don't do something like this, you uh, can run the risk of losing track of where your top and bottom is and then screwing up the polarity and it's, you know, just generally annoying to work with. Um, so uh, that's what this shape is. It is geometrically identical to the normal diagonal cube. Same size, same number of magnets, geometrically completely the same. The difference here is that this one, um, it, on every corner, the uh, polarity of the magnets goes around in a circle and that carries out throughout the whole shape. So if I would take the corners off here, which I'll do real quick. So I just did that. So like I said, if I take the corners off of this shape, I can take bits that are rings of six like this, and I can place them on the corners like this. And with the old diagonal cube, you could do that on the top and the bottom, but not really on any other corners. The difference with this one is that you can do it on all corners. So you could do something like this, which is uh, not really possible with the old diagonal cube. With this version, you can add things here. And then the other thing is that the polarity of the magnets on the faces also kind of goes around in a ring. So you can also attach these onto the centers of these faces. It's not as nearly as secure as on the corners. Uh, I got the polarity backwards, but you can definitely get a good attachment if I can find the center. Yeah, you can definitely get a good attachment into the center here. So sometimes a little bit difficult to find. You know, I say I can do this and then it decides it doesn't want to work on me. Okay, there. Yeah. So attach right down onto the center. Reasonably strong. Not as strong as the corners, but you know, you do have to use a card to get it off without screwing up the shape there much stronger connection. So all of these corners are their own uh, rings. So this has a symmetry that's much more like most uh, geometrical magnet shapes where it is symmetrical around each vertex or around each face rather than like this one which is symmetrical through an axis and is magnetically kind of a cubic donut if that makes any sense where this is more of a um, not a donut, it's more geometric 
uh, cubic, I guess, in a sense, magnetically. Anyway, not really an entirely new shape, I guess. It's still a diagonal cube, but it's a totally different way to make it. And magnetically, it's very different, which I thought was interesting because uh, completely same geometric arrangement of magnets, and yet magnetically, completely different. So... Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a tutorial for this, and I can go ahead and make that.